Good morning, church. So as we know, we are celebrating mothers today. And, you know, it would be easy for me to simply just come up here and cheerily say, Happy Mother's Day. And that greeting is, you know, it has its place. But I think sometimes it doesn't really communicate our true heart towards the complexities um, that surround this day. And so as a church, we want to say, and I hope I get through this, to those who give, gave birth this year to their first child, we celebrate with you. To those who lost a child this year, we mourn with you. To those who are in the trenches with little ones every day and wear the badge of food stains, we appreciate you. To those who experience loss through miscarriage, failed adoptions, running away, we mourn with you. To those who walk the hard path of infertility, fraught with pokes, prods, tears, and disappointment, we walk with you. Forgive us when we say foolish things. We don't mean to make things harder. To those who are foster moms, mentor moms, and spiritual moms, we need you. To those who have warm and close relationships with your children, we celebrate you, and we celebrate with you. To those who have experienced disappointment, heartache, and distance with your children, we sit with you. To those who lost their mothers this year, we grieve with you. To those who experienced abuse at the hands of your own mother, we acknowledge your experience, and we grieve with you over that. To those who lived through driving tests, medical tests, and the overall testing of motherhood, we are better for having you in our midst. To those who have aborted children, we remember them and you on this day. To those who are single and long to be married and mothering your own children, we mourn that life has not turned out the way you longed for it to be. To those who step parent, we walk with you on these complex paths. We know there's a lot to that. To those who envision lavishing love on grandchildren, yet that dream is not to be, we grieve with you. To those who will have emptier nests in the upcoming year, we grieve and rejoice with you. To those who place children for adoption, we commend you for your selflessness and remember how you hold that child in your heart. And to those who are pregnant with new life, both expected and unexpected, we anticipate with you. And certainly that doesn't encapsulate it all, but in every way, we honor you women in our midst today who are biologically or otherwise doing the good, good work of mothering, refereeing, leading, shepherding, and cultivating the lives around you. All of your endeavoring is not in vain. It's never in vain. For the scripture says, God is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And so today, we esteem you, each one of you, we bless you, we honor you, and we commend you on this Mother's Day.